YouTube, 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 YouTube. What's up, YouTube? The Sean Wick is back with another video. <laughs> the Sean Wick is, man, what's up? The Robert Hood come back. The Robert Hood come back. The Robert Hood come back. This is my Robert Hood account. I remember my Robert Hood account. Y'all already know me for the cash shop. I be on the cash shop. I got the two stacks in the cash shop, and I'm putting that profit out on a regular basis. Other hand, on my on my uh, Robinhood account, I don't really touch the Robinhood account. I do my trades in there, doing my uh, comeback. You guys know that uh, when I first started trading about four years ago, I say four ish. I started trading with uh, penny stocks. Made my little investment. Started trading with penny stocks. I didn't really know what I was doing. But I was still doing it. I didn't know what I was doing. But I was still doing it. And I said, you know what, man? Screw this. I'm done. I dibby dab. I stopped and I started again. I stopped and I started again. I stopped and I started again. Then I said, you know what? I'm going to take this serious. That's what I did. Started taking it serious. And on my cash apps, you can see the improvements, my different trading style. Going for the right, down 557. It was more than that. For the year, 25%. For the three month, we got that little spike that went up. We had a little troubles around here. And it went down if. <laughs> All right for the month, you have four point nine one percent, almost uh, five for the week, down four point thirteen, and for the for the day, which was Friday, we uh went down point seven six. We have a local bit of a of a little tiny any bitty 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 of trend up hours. And right now, this is my profits, but I don't take from here. I just leave it. All right, we got Visa. We got Visa, Mastercard. We got Visa, Mastercard, Square, Jets, the airplanes. We got Workhorse. We got Sony, and uh, these companies out here are just some companies that I don't really know. I just saw them on YouTube, and they said pick it, and I said all right. <laughs> uh, this one, uh, Jemaya, yeah, looking nice. We gotta add some more to that though. I want, to talk, I want to go over a couple of things real quick. As you, as you guys move forward in your training, your trading stocks, the, some of the things I learned along the way that helped me, that got me better with my cash app. Some of the things that I did to help me get better with my cash app. As you guys can see, the performance, the, the me taking profits all the time. Not all the time, but you know. So one of the things I learned was, first of all, you gotta have a plan. People don't plan to fail, they fail to plan, okay? And with that being said, we gotta we gotta know certain things before doing this, okay? And if you don't know, you go you, you, you need to know. You gotta you gotta you need to know what a support line and what a resistance line is. A support line and a resistance line. An entry point and an exit point. Entry point and exit point is basically where am I getting in and where am I getting out. Entry point, getting in, exit point, where am I getting out. Support line. When you know the support line and the resistance, the resistance line, you get a general idea where the lines will bounce. Where will it go back up? How, how do I know if it's going to go back up? How do I know if it's going to go down? When it's going down, how do I know when it's going to go back up? Support line. When it's going up, how do I know when it's coming back down? Resistance line. Entry, exit. How much are you looking to gain percentages wise? Not dollar sign wise, but percentage wise. The 20 moving average, 200 moving average, the RSI. With these tools, when you put them all together, magical things happen. Profit. 
magical things happen. Profit. If you want to get into like, you know, day trading, soon trading, you got you to gotta know these things. You can't just be jumping in and praying. Yeah, you're going to get some wins. So I guarantee you're going to get more losses. You know why? Because when you do it that way, it's 50-50. When you add these tools, you change those numbers a great deal. You can put it in your favor, 80, 90, 90, you know, 90, 100. <coughs> Whatever I meant just now, I don't know what the hell I was trying to say, but you know, I'm supposed to say 90-10, right? <laughs> Tired. Yeah, guys. Guys gotta study, man. Guys gotta consistently practice. You guys can start with one dollar. Un peso. And you will CC out of Bates. This company right here, I'm going to be keeping an eye on them. I got to start adding more to them. This is like the equal to Amazon in their regional area. They're out of Africa, all right? So it's a hundred position. Uh, it went up by 19%. Too bad to have more, right? That's what we all say. Man, only if I had some more money in that position. Only if I had some more money in that position. Only. Only if I had a little bit more money. <laughs> you can't get them all. That's why you diversify. Because you can't get them all. And you can't get emotional like, oh, you know, I should have, would have, could have, because then you be chasing the stock. But it already did what it did. And you came in late. All right. You're looking forward to spike up, but it already spiked. You know? These are all the companies that went IPO 100%. I forgot, I forgot that I was still doing my video. Cause I'm about to go look for some money. I like to look for companies that's all the way down. And see why they down. These are the companies that went IPO last year. Uh, I'm doing some craziness. I'm gonna let you know. It's Sean Wiggins, BFC, rap on her comeback. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Okay. And I want to move slow, right? Slow, slow. <laughs> 